So we're going to keep our eyes on it because it's slowly getting closer to northeast Broward there and may eventually sweep down a little bit further to the south. Now here's the thing. This band is moving out at the same time the storm is gradually moving away. So it's kind of a it's it's moving away but it's expanding at the same time. So if it gets into northern Broward, it's gonna be a close call to too too close for me to call. So we'll just say folks in northern and eastern Broward uh, brace in the next in the next 15 minutes for one outer band coming through and then potentially an even stronger band coming through with this, this activity would have the higher winds uh, and it's headed towards the northeast. So the bigger picture, let's uh, zoom on down and uh, talk about Miami-Dade. Some pretty good rains moving through right now, Miami-Dade. And uh, you can see these uh, rain bands here racing to the south. There's that other shower activity now in uh, Broward. And then finally on into the Keys where uh, it remains pretty nice. We do have this one band here. It's falling apart, but it is racing to the south toward the middle and lower Keys there. And could produce some gusty winds as well. But that's certainly something that we're watching as we go and out through the evening, and we're expecting another uh, position update on the hurricane in about 15 minutes. All right now, though, let's talk more about the local effects here. Uh, what we're expecting as we go through the night, it's going to get a little bit windier. And we'll join, have Dave Warren join us. Dave? Yeah, it's just that uh, the bands we're watching here as uh, we take a close up look at this storm, it's slowly pushing to the northwest, but that band expanding outward. And uh, National Weather Service, keep an eye on these showers here just off the coast. There's some severe, a severe thunderstorm there. They pushed out special marine warnings. It's off the coast and moving due south, uh, so not expected to move inland. Uh, but uh, this band here, which is moving south uh, there towards Fort Lauderdale, will contain these strong gusty winds. And that storm they are concerned with is just off the coast. But this is moving south. As the storm is close enough, we'll continue to see these bands move through. That contain the gusty wind. Could see tropical storm force or even higher. As as uh, the closer to the storm you get. So there it is pushing south. It is just north of Miami Dade right now, but there's another band that moved through. Seeing a little break here. So you have that band pushed through. You get the wind, the rain, then you get this little break here, but that band not far away. So these bands are closer and closer together as the storm is uh, just off the coast, but continuing to move to the northwest. So just south of Miami here, uh, this is pushed south. The concern with this there is the wind continues to gust, and this could lead to more power outages. Again, look at the keys here. Uh, not much in the way of uh, rain showers there, but not completely dry. Uh, here's what to expect for the rest of the night. Uh, this will show you where the strongest winds will be and the timing as well. 10 o'clock tonight, uh, just north of Fort Lauderdale, up towards West Palm. You see that purple area expanding. That's close to the center of the storm now with this latest computer forecast. Picks it up right along the coast. This could be these hurricane force winds and it's just the northern tip of Broward County there 70 miles or more uh, 50 to 70 there around Fort Lauderdale and a little less tropical storm force to the south uh, that'll continue to lift north throughout the night tonight after midnight tonight and throughout the day tomorrow things will slowly improve the peak wind gusts only into the upper 30s right now uh, and the rainfall amounts on top of the storm surge a quick contrast between very little rain and six to ten inches of rain so you're getting the storm surge flooding. You also see the flooding as a result of the very heavy rain. Uh, so what to expect with this timeline here? We're seeing these gusty squalls move through. Maybe a little break in between each. Uh, but that's what we're expecting between now and midnight. After midnight tonight, slow improvement. Still a few showers tomorrow. It will still be breezy, but we'll want to say we see a little more sunshine tomorrow as the storm moves up the coast there. So a slow improvement. That's what we will expect to see overnight tonight. All right, Dave Warren. Dave, thanks very much.